here, B'nai Jeshuan community. We are writing today as conservative, patriotic Americans. We, our families and friends, have and continue to serve in the military, law enforcement, and in our communities, as well as make sacrifices for our country. We believe America is indeed an exceptional place that has served as a unique symbol and a model to the world. As such, we have seen enough of the divisive politics that separates our country and are calling for an end to any rhetoric that confuses hate and fear-mongering with patriotism. We are shocked, angered, saddened to learn that a man filled with hate for Jews entered the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania and committed a horrific act of terror on Jewish Americans peacefully at worship. We are literally sick over what happened and at times have had no words to describe it. Although this was the madness of one twisted individual, we can no longer turn a blind eye to the people and places where this kind of hatred is fueled. As Americans, we all understand what terrorism looks and sounds like and should fear this example the most because the perpetrator is an American. We feel connected to this tragedy through our Jewish friends and family and our shared religious traditions. Before meeting you, some of us have never known a Jewish person, but we understand that this was an attack on all of us. We wish to convey to you that we grieve the loss of Jewish American lives, that we care about the safety of your community. In addition, for those of us who are Christian, we are dismayed that any of these groups would call themselves Christian while echoing the Hebrew scriptures, Christ clearly taught his followers to love your neighbor as yourself. And it is with this kind of love that we aim to live our lives with our fellow Americans, regardless of race, creed, ethnicity, religion, or political affiliation. We are likely never to make sense of what happened, but we are praying for some return to sanity and believe it is our responsibility to make it so. And we went to make sure the victims in the Pittsburgh synagogue will emerge as a light to the world, even though it comes at an unspeakable cost. While as a conservative, we believe that we are each responsible for our own actions and don't like to see government overreaction following the behavior of hateful, reckless, and unstable individuals. We also recognize this despicable crime occurred amidst an increasing polarized political climate. We cannot stand by as our country spirals downward in a cycle of hate and violence. This sick man is the only one responsible for his actions, but we are all responsible for allowing this atmosphere and environment to exist in our country. Please join us in rejecting hate, violence, and language that demonizes any group because they are different than we are. We must stop this before America stops being America. This cannot be a partisan issue as it is more fundamental than politics. This is a moral crossroads for our country and enough is enough. We must call out any leader, politician, or media personality who pursues a path of victory based on stirring up hate or inciting violence. 
we do take law and order seriously, and we do know that the tone set amongst our national leaders has an impact on the climate we and our children live in. We are calling for a national repentance and call on all leaders to step forward who pledge to demonstrate reasonableness and tolerance for diverse people, traditions, and political views on all sides. While we don't have to always agree, hopefully we can agree on this. We need more unifying love, not divisive hate. We need fair dialogue, not labels and insults. We need more honest conversations, not dishonest rhetoric or spin. We need to find common ground, not isolate ourselves into corners of hostility. Political polarization and extremist ideology is on the rise in America. This letter is not written to propose a detailed strategy or solution to the problem. However, it is meant to posit the notion of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in stating that darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. We must set an example we want others to follow. We must stand up when we see things that things and we believe that our nation's leaders should set this tone of peace as well. Our prayer remains with you and the rest of the Jewish community. In solidarity, Laura Emery, Caleb Follett, Brent Kowitz, Jim McHenry, Matt Sigler, Andy Potter, Jeremy Tripp, Mindy Vorman, and myself, Michael Lennox.